Good morning and a very warm welcome to prayer during the day from Lindisfarne on Monday the 14th of December. Christ, light of the world. Lead us in our place of darkness. Christ, light of the world. Lead us in our place of darkness. Christ, light of the world. Lead us in our place of darkness. We now light our third Advent candle. We light this candle as a sign of the King who comes to rule. Jesus, our health, rule in our bodies. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Jesus, our worth, rule in our work. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Jesus, our love, rule in our households. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Jesus, our life, rule in our living and dying. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Our hymn today is O Little Town of Bethlehem. Our psalm today is psalm number 40. Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. 
I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me out of the roaring pit, out of the mire and flame. He set my feet upon a rock and made my footing sure. He has put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not turn to the proud that follow a lie. Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. How great your designs for us. There is none that can be compared with you. If I were to proclaim them and tell them, they would be more than I am able to express. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but my ears you have opened. But offering and sacrifice for sin you have not required. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me that I should do your will, O my God. I delight to do it. Your law is within my heart. I have declared your righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips, and that, O Lord, you know. Your righteousness I have not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and truth from the great congregation. Do not withhold your compassion from me, O Lord. Let your love and your faithfulness always preserve me. For innumerable troubles have come about me, My sins have overtaken me so that I cannot look up. They are more in number than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed who seek after my life to destroy it. Let them be driven back and put to shame and who wish me evil. Let those who heap insults upon me be desolate because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad. Let those who love your salvation say always, The Lord is great. Though I am poor and needy, the Lord cares for me. You are my helper and my deliverer, O my God. Make no delay. Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. Free us from our sins, O God, and may our sacrifice be of praise to the glory of your Son, our Redeemer Jesus Christ. Amen. Our reading is from Paul's first epistle to the Thessalonians. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When they say, there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them, as labour pains come upon a pregnant woman, and there will be no escape. But you, beloved, are not in darkness, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So then let us not fall asleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who are drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, and put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build up each other, as indeed you are doing. This is the word of the Lord. 
Among the hungry, among the homeless, among the friendless. Come to make things new. Among the powerful, among the spoilt, among the crooked. Come to make things new. In halls of fame, in corridors of power, in forgotten places. Come to make things new. With piercing eyes, with tender touch, with cleansing love. Come. To make things new. Now we reflect on the words of our Bible passage today. Our reading works through a long, extended metaphor, or to be more accurate, it works through a pair of contrasting metaphors set out skillfully. One set is positive, and the other is negative. On one side we have night, darkness, sleep, drunkenness, ignorance and nefarious doings. On the other side, Paul gathers together day, light, wakefulness, sobriety, knowledge and upright dealings. As a piece of writing, this is quite a triumph. But at the end of our reading, Paul does something unexpected, something that makes the whole thing as much of a triumph of theology as it has been a triumph of writing. Paul takes what he has lined up against each other and drives a coach and horses through this neat set of contrasts. Daytime and being awake suggests life, night and sleep suggests death. Jesus, however, disrupts all of that, redeeming sleep, redeeming night, giving hope in the face of death, since his promise of life with him applies also to those who have died. Whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Death, which we so rightly oppose, the last enemy, becomes also a sleep. In Christ, Paul writes, whether we are awake or asleep, alive or dead, we are safe and live with him. Amen. God is here with us now. Let us pray. Father, we pray for your church throughout the world, for all Christian people, as we make our preparations to celebrate Christmas. Hear our prayer today for the people and ministers of the churches, first of the Diocese of Sodor and Man in the Church of England, and next for the churches of the Diocese of El Camino Real in the United States. As we journey through Advent, make us ready to receive you. Take us as we are and cultivate in us a heart that longs for you and worships you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the world. Hear our prayer. for the negotiations, negotiators working to fashion a constructive and beneficial 
and harmonious parting of the ways between this country and the countries of the European Union. Keep relationships strong, we pray, throughout Europe. Hear our prayer too for our National Health Service and for all those who continue to labour on the front line against COVID-19. And also for our school communities as they come to the end of this term. Teachers, children, governors and parents. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our community here and for those who are dear to us. Thank you for those who give us support, who encourage us, who listen to us, who make us laugh and who share our sorrows. Bless their lives and give them joy. Hear our prayer today for all who live along Ashford Road and in Mulberry Gardens and Rothley Close. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those who are in need at this time. Among them, Jenny Jordan, Muriel Davies, Barbara Gorard, Amanda Chalmers, Derek Mannerings, Annette Hurrell, and Gillian Davis. Be with those whose memories are painful, and those whose bitter resentment cramps and distorts present relationships. Bring healing, wholeness and peace. Lord, in your mercy. Yes. Hear our Father, we pray for those who have died recently. By name we remember Fred Walker, Alan Hutchinson, Joe Coley, Jean Anderson, Joyce Davison, Kevin Roberts and Victor Gardner. Hear our prayer too for Michael Upton, Gordon Robinson, Peter Sparrow, Bill Bailey, Dennis Matthews, Derek Hurrell and Ronald Taylor who we remember on the anniversary of their death. Hear our prayer for those who are close to death at the moment. We commend them all into your keeping. Open their hearts to receive your love, your mercy, and your forgiveness. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we give you thanks today because none of us are beyond your saving love. We rejoice in your promise to keep us ultimately safe. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Restore to us, Lord, what has been eaten away 
bring into being what is yet to be. All wise God, sourcing and permeating creation. Source and permeate us. Civilising God, who revealed laws that brought good order out of cruel anarchy. Civilise us. Redeeming God, who through your regents rescued your people from hell and destruction. Rescue us. God of destiny, the key that unlocked the greatness of great David's kingdom. Unlock the greatness of our lives and of our land. Morning star, who dispersed the gloom of your oppressed people. Cheer our spirits and put sin and neglect to flight. Emmanuel, God with us, who came to live in a lost and lonely world. Make your home with us today. You call your people. You gather those who have strayed. You, the one who is coming. Gather us to you in the break of the day and keep us faithful until your appearing. May, May we, we be a hand, hand to the weak, weak an, an anchor in the storm, storm and a light in the dark. Our Lord says, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Amen.